It's a rusty old grill, kept afloat by a rubber ducky. I still haven't figured out what runs through the canals in Venice, but I'm sure it can't be water. It's a seagull. The poor guy looks quite hungry. It's a plastic coated clothesline. I know that duck. Bon voyage, ducky! It's a rubber ducky. It looks disturbingly familiar. But how the heck did it get all the way over here? The duck's deflated.
Charlie? Bye, Charlie. Later. Fresh bread. There's a high voltage cable running parallel with the rails, and something's gotten stuck between them. It looks like a large iron key. I'd have to get down there to reach it with my hands, but with that frayed high voltage cable... I didn't brush my teeth this morning just so I could eat fried bacon with a pretty smile. I'll have to find some other way to get the key. down far enough. When I was a wee lass, I tried fishing a couple of times in the pond behind my house, but I never caught anything. I hope my luck's improved. Obviously, this is not gonna work. The clamp's already closed.
The clamp's around the key, but I can't catch hold of it unless I find a way to close the clamp while it's down there. around the key, but I can't catch hold of it unless I find a way to close the clamp while it's down there. around the key, but I can't catch hold of it unless I find a way to close the clamp while it's down there. but I can't catch hold of it unless I find a way to close the clamp while it's down there. Ducky's keeping the clamp open. Obviously, this is not going to work. The clamp's already closed. It's a band-aid. How did that get there? Last I remember, the seagull had pecked a hole in the duck. Weird.
That's a pretty cool catch. It's a large iron key. Hi. What can I do for you, Mia? Thanks, anyway. Yes, yeah, um, I'll tell you what. You go on now and let Freddy Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Doddy Mellon, get all P.I.S.T. off. That door leads back into what looks like an alleyway behind the theater. It's locked. Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now, you hear? Leave it be. Green ooze.
It's a piece of candy soaking in green ooze. Gross. Care for another? Hey, sure. Forget about it. What the hell? The taste! Sickening! I feel kinda... Christ! Hey, what... What the hell do you think you're doing? Did you just throw a rock at my head? Now, I tell you what, you shouldn't have done that. I reckon that was a bad mistake. You should have seen him run, lady. I reckon I ain't never seen nobody run that fast. And he was clutching at his buttocks like he had the runs or something. <laughs> he, he even lost his stupid old hat in the gutter. <laughs> I ain't never seen anything that funny in a while. Dang, Marky, light up! Hell, it gone dead on me now. I'm going to have to fix that sign proper this time round, uh huh? I just need me a ladder and some tools from the basement.
It's a fuse box. the last time somebody picked up the garbage? Smells like moldy caramel popcorn and bingo cherry cola. Disgusting! It's a mountain of garbage. It's a fire alarm and a smoke detector. It's a closed garbage bin. It's filled with a bunch of dry rags, newspapers, and a half-empty oil can. Can anybody say extreme fire hazard? It's the theater's fire exit. There's no doorknob. It's impossible to open it from this side. It reminds me of something, but I just can't put my finger on it. I feel an uncontrollable urge to raise my hands, though. The shadow's being cast by those garbage bags. Somebody's coming. Hey, old blazes, we got us a fire. me of something, but I just can't put my finger on it. I feel an uncontrollable urge to raise my hands, though. The shadow's being cast by those garbage bags. It's that detective guy's hat. He must have lost it running away from Freddie Mellon.
It's that detective guy's hat. All right, somebody's coming. Hey, old blazes, we got us a fire. Pretty convincing, if I have to say so myself. Pretty convincing, if I have to say so myself. It's Constable Guybrush. Somebody's coming. Hey, old blazes, we got us a fire. Now, where's that voice coming from? Show yourself. All right, there, Mister. Just, just don't, don't you fire that gun now. You hear? I, I'm, I'm sorry I chased you earlier. Freddy, you'll do the monkey for you right now, if, if that's what you want, uh-huh. He'll do the monkey until you ask him to stop, I reckon, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you, hands up. Spread your legs and do the...
You have no idea what I went through to find you. First... Do you like movies? Sure. Who doesn't? Wait a second. I was trying to tell you that... I don't much like modern movies myself. They're either too loud and expensive or too obscure and self-indulgent. But old movies, really old movies, have a charm and a simplicity that appeals to me. Listen, please don't interrupt me again. It's starting to piss me off. But I have never interrupted you, unless I've had something important to say, of course. But go ahead. What is it you wanted to talk about? Why did you make me search all over the city for you? Search for me? I've been here for hours, senorita. I haven't moved. The question ought to be, what made you go out of your way to find me? We agreed to meet this morning, remember? As I remember it, there was no agreement. I said tomorrow, but you refused. I assumed you weren't interested. I apologize for making myself unavailable, however. Don't give me that. You wanted me to come looking for you again. Actually, no. I, I had to lay low for a few hours. Does it have anything to do with the cop that was staking this place out? No. Yeah. So it was a good thing I didn't stick my head out the door to look for you then, no? He's gone now. Are you in some kind of trouble with the police? Wait, don't tell me. Immigration. No, senorita. Not the police. There are bigger players than the police. I don't want to know. I'm not getting mixed up with the mob or gangs or anything like that. There's not much you want to be mixed up in at all, is there? My life's complicated enough as it is, Mr. Cortez. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Answers. You want, you need, answers. You keep telling me that, but you never give me any answers. Just more questions. Like, who's out to get you? What's going on with me? How come you know so much about me? I plan to answer all your questions today, April. By the time you go to sleep tonight, your world will have changed, and nothing will ever be the same. You're just being cryptic again. It's like soap opera sex, lots of boring dialogue, and when they finally go to bed, everything's dark and covered by blankets. You want the full Monty then? Come with me. Come outside. No more talk. I will show you the truth. This is probably as good a place as any. At least there's no one around to see, except rats. To see what? Stand back, senorita. What for? What are you doing? Why, Alice, I'm sending you through the looking glass. What? What is that? Please tell me it's a hologram. It's a mirror to reflect your dreams. But I don't see anything, just light. Oh, you have to step through. Step through that? Oh no, I don't think so. This is the moment of decision, April. All time, past and present, revolves around this moment. The destiny of worlds is in your hands. But you must make the choice on your own. La vida es corta. You must decide how to live it best. I'm not sure what I should do. I understand. It's a difficult decision. Because whatever you do, your life will change forever. So take your time. Think about it. Don't rush into a decision you're not ready to make. Are you ready to step through the looking glass? All right. I'll do it. Vamos. 
Enter the light. Don't say that. It sounds too ominous. Just tell me what's gonna happen. You're about to take the first step on the longest journey of your life. But don't worry. I'll be waiting right here. I must be insane to do this. Yes. It's pretty much a given. Oh, I almost forgot. When you're ready to come back, pay a visit to a friend of mine called Westhouse. Brian Westhouse. child, and may the balance protect you. Cortez? Cortez! I have a bad feeling about this. Wait. What was the name Cortez told me to remember? Westhouse? Brian Westhouse? I think that was it. Cortez said to look him up when I wanted to go home. Well, I want to go home now. It's my diary. The shutters are closed, but it's daylight outside. He looks like some kind of priest. Hello? Hi. Et tu? Emilie, tu vas? English? Parlez-vous français? Habla espagnol? Aku, sta kayan paras. Inomalante candra. Ton maris oritheasi ton. Aku, tu fata. Se quam dare. Ken estare. Ton. Who are you? 
Ken Esang, Maris Ortona, Majigean Pose Ton, Sare Alvoca Im Iriam Tue Ithium. Aku Kandi. Good. Niranton Alvoch. Sank Al Koda Magic. Torante. Salhe, Navin, All Tongue. Al Orta e beginning, Parasim tin you. You have Thiesa e magic e Sara, e the knowledge, Aritua ya ai tue by generations e umani, knowledge of All Tongue. Now you have allowed the magic to enter your heart, and the knowledge of all tongue, ever present but dormant, to guide your ears and your tongue. I... I understand you. You speak English? Why didn't you just tell me straight away? <laughs> no, child. I do not speak English. I speak Naven, all tongue, the common language of Arcadia. Arcadia? Wait a second. How did I get here? What is this place and who the hell are you? Oh, my manners have abandoned me yet again. I'm afraid my preoccupation with ancient texts and the company of my fellow fathers have left me unequipped with the grace of social intercourse. Meaning what? That I have been rude. My name, dear child, is Tobias Grensret, and I am the Vestrum of the Sentinel. The Order of the Balance. We are the Fathers. Ah... Uh, okay. I'm April. April Ryan. I take it this is your first shift, your first passage through the Divide? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I guess this is my first shift. I just... Then I will explain everything. Someone must. You are without guidance. Without a mentor? Mentor? There's this guy Cortez. He assisted me. Told me about magic and truth and dreams and portals. Crazy stuff. Well, it seemed crazy at the time, although now I don't... Cortez? Ah, yes, Cortez. Very good, very good. Then come, let us proceed. Let me show you Mercuria, the grandest city of all ages. Explore Mercuria, April. See the sights, meet the people, and then, when you are ready, return to the temple. I will answer whatever questions you may have then. <laughs> 